Look at the time lapse from our KHQA studios here, courtesy of the Sleep Tight Weather Cam. Temperatures in the mid-afternoon looks like low 70s there for late July. Go Perfect. figure. Perfect. Yeah, we'll Perfect. take that every time. Very comfortable out there. Lots of sunshine, too. Temperatures are going to be pretty nice tonight, a little on the cool side. Down into the 50s we go again, it looks like, as we head through tonight. And conditions are going to stay quiet for another day, at least uh, maybe two. We'll see how we do. But for now, temperature is the big story. Comfortable stuff there in the 70s from Keokuk and Fort Madison all the way down the river into Hannibal. Out in Pittsfield, we don't want to forget you over there. You have 77 degrees, so some nice weather conditions all across the area. Lots of sunshine, and it'll be a mainly clear sky we'll have for you tonight as well. Currently on your weather headlines, this is what you can expect over the near term. Great weather continues on into tomorrow. We'll see partly sunny skies, and uh, temperatures will warm just a little bit up into the lower 80s, I'm forecasting tomorrow afternoon. Storm chances by Thursday, though a slight chance, about a 20% coverage. And that same story will play itself out on Friday and Saturday. No all-day rains, though, are expected at this point, and we're going to be looking for the cooler-than-average temperatures to continue into next week, at least for a time before temperatures start to warm up by the middle parts of next week. Temperatures should be back in the middle 80s, which is much more seasonable for this time of year. Right now, 77 degrees, sunshine out at the airport. The winds are out of the northwest and light at 8 miles an hour. And the relative humidity, pretty nice out there at 46%. Temperatures range from the 80s over western Missouri to the 70s. Back over much of northeastern Missouri and northern Illinois. 77 degrees in Chicago right now. 78 degrees up to our north there in Moline. The winds, they're light and out of the northwest generally, north-northwest anyway, about 5 to 15 miles an hour, and that northerly component will continue as we go through the rest of the evening. We're in this northwest flow aloft, and you can see the clouds and any precipitation up over northern parts of Illinois moving from northwest to southeast, and the clouds out to our west diving once again across Kansas and Nebraska back to our south over into Oklahoma and Arkansas. High pressure continues to be Bottling up our picture weather-wise, we are keeping any precip off to our north and off to our south. Thanks to this large dome of sinking air across the region, it's sponsoring the quiet weather conditions and the low humidity and that uh, north breeze as well. As we head on through later on tomorrow, we'll see it reinforced out of the northwest here with high pressure really uh, centering itself right over parts of Nebraska and western parts of Iowa. So for tonight, we're going to look for conditions that will be very quiet indeed. As a matter of fact, temperatures will fall somewhere back into the lower to, I'd say, upper 50s, lower 60s, something like that. 59 in Keokuk, 59 in Fort Madison. Same story over in Carthage with temperatures near 80 degrees for many parts of the area later on tomorrow afternoon. Your forecast in detail tonight, 58 degrees with some clear skies out there in Quincy. Winds out of the west-northwest, 5 to 10 miles an hour. For tomorrow, 81 for a high, uh, still about 5 degrees below average for this time of year. Winds will be out of the north-northwest, 5 to 15 miles an hour. The extended forecast, here you go. Temperatures in the lower 80s on through the weekend. We'll see a chance for showers or thunderstorms on Thursday and Friday, lasting on into Saturday with conditions that will be a little unsettled from time to time. Otherwise, dry weather as we head on into Sunday and temperatures start to warm just a bit. That relative humidity that uh, will be increasing somewhat as we head on through next week with um, more seasonal temperatures there in the middle 80s. So get out and enjoy the nice stuff right now. It is a fabulous air mass and quite a treat for the end of July. I've never heard an air mass described as fabulous before. There you go. <laughs> but it's marvelous, something like that. Thanks, Mike. Uh -huh. Will Wilson's here.